Hello, good morning. I am so happy to be here on this beautiful Monday morning. It is 1030 in the morning and um, my time, I should say, Pacific Standard Time. I hope you can join me. If you are just tuning in and you've never watched my show before, my name is Wendy. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I have fun stuff to show you on Mondays at 1030 a.m. Um, I also um, would love it if you place an order with me so you can see um, in the description of this video if you tap on the screen if you're on a device it'll bring up the description and it'll have all the links for you so you can purchase any of the products that I'm using or you can um, you can go to my blog and check out the dimensions for the projects that I'm doing and things like that. Good morning, good morning. I'm seeing lots of people pop on. Good morning, Mary Ann. Hi, Leticia. Denise. Okay, so um, I wanted to start today with showing some stuff I've gotten in the mail over the last couple days. Actually, it's been about the last week. So we're going to go to this view. And um, these, ador these are adorable cards. So I got this one that opens like this from a um, customer. Her name is Vicki. And she's a team member too, actually. So I thought that was really cute. She's actually not a customer. She's a team member. Sorry. I get my Vickies. I have about five Vickies in my life. So I get them confused. Okay. Then this one is from Laura, who is a team member. She put this really cute little sticker on here. It says dream big. And then she said, thanks, Wendy, for all you do. Thought you might enjoy these. And there's this little bitty buddy. Stop it. Sorry, you guys. Um, there's this little bitty envelope that she's made with the envelope punch board. And then there's these cute little tabs. Buddy, stop. I should have kicked him out of the house before I started this. And then these, these little sticky notes. So I can use these. Well, hello, sir. You guys want to see? You want to see the troublemaker? Oh, goodness. Come here. Say hello to all the friends. There he is. This is my little barky barker. Say hi, boo boo. He loves to bark and let people know that, that he is here. Huh? Now be quiet. Okay, so there's that. Right. Stop that. Okay, and then this is um, a random act of kindness from one of my team members, Kelly. And look at this beautiful card she made. It says, life is a beautiful thing, and she made this gorgeous um, flower. I hope you enjoy this card, August Rack. Have a great day. Love, Kelly. Isn't that cute? Love it. I love the shape of it too. It's a nice big, I bet it's a six by six, uh, five and a half by five and a half. So a nice big square card. So those were the cards I received. And then I got this gift in the mail. This came from my upline. So when you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you signed up under somebody, and whoever you sign up under is your upline. And so this person um, is Patty, and she sent me all these goodies in recognition of my advancement to Platinum, which I advanced to Platinum quite a while ago now, but... She wanted to get this beautiful block engraved for me, and it took a while for the engraving. So that's why this is a little bit um, past its normal time frame that she would send something. So she just sent a bunch of really beautiful goodies. I've got a pack of cards here, some awesome bags, and she kind of went with like silver and gold stuff, if you noticed. Um, so anyway, really cool. I love this. All right, so I'm going to set this stuff aside. Such a cool gift to get in the mail. I love getting gifts in the mail. Who doesn't, right? And this is the card she sent, Celebrate You. And then she just wrote, Congratulations on your title promotion to Platinum. Amazing. So, yay. So that was really sweet. 
Okay, I'm reading comments. Um, oh, good. Nice and sunny. No more Florence. Hi from Indiana. Going to be raining here in the Northeast in Ohio. Yes, Buddy is in the doghouse. <laughs> you are right, Miriam. Okay, so I have a couple giveaways, and we're going to save those for the end because I also have a really cool card to show you that I made, and I want to teach you how to make it. So this is the front of the card, and then it opens like this, and then it opens like this. Isn't that fun? So it's a, I'm going to do it this way. I know it's sideways on your screen, but it's a trifold card that way. And really, you could just have it be one fold if you wanted to, but I did a trifold. So it says, hello, you open it, and you could write a little note here, and then it says, sending love. So I just love it. I love the way it came out and it's so super simple to make. So I'm going to show you. The first thing you need is two pieces of cardstock at four and a quarter by 11. Let me see if I can zoom out on this a little bit so that you can see a little more of the card. I don't know if that helped. Okay, so this is four and a quarter by 11, both of them. And I do want to say really quick, quick commercial break. If you go to my blog at lovenstampin.com, then you will see there that I've got not the shop Love and Stampin', that's my online shopping store. You want to go to the lovenstampin.com or you can just click on the blog post in the description and you will find all the dimensions for this card. So if you're wanting written dimensions, which is something I asked about on my Facebook page not too long ago. So if you do want the written dimensions for this card, they are there. All you have to do is go to my blog at levenstampin.com or you can click on the blog post link in the description of this video and it will take you there. Okay, and there's some really cool photos on there too. All right, so I've got my Stampin' Trimmer here, and I'm gonna start out by scoring one of these four and a quarter by 11s at five and a half. So that gives me my first piece. I'm gonna score the second piece at five and a half. And then I'm going to trim it off um, a quarter of an inch, or you could line it up at the 10 and three quarter mark over here, and cut it but I just know that this is a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna cut it off so I just need to cut off a quarter of an inch so now you've got two pieces of cardstock one is four and a quarter by 11 and one is four and a quarter by ten and three quarters this is the piece that is going to go inside of this piece so let's fold them and burnish the edges using a bone folder And we're going to set this shorter piece aside for just a second and focus on this guy. So what I have here is I wanted to show you this. Um, let me get the framelits. I don't know. I didn't pull those out before I started. Sorry about that. Uh, maybe I put them up here. Yes, I did because I wanted to show you this stamp set that I'm using. So we've got the floral frames and foliage frame bundle. This is in the annual catalog. It's actually not even in the holiday catalog, but I wanted to use it because I hadn't used it yet. And I feel like it is way missed. Like this is such a great set. So there's this beautiful foliage cutout and we're gonna grab that. And then we are going to grab my circle framelits which I forgot to grab before we started. And I think it's this one. Yep, yeah, sure is. So on this post-it note, you see that I reminded myself the first step to making this frame is cutting out this circle. So you're gonna cut this circle, then take it out and you'll have a hole here. Then you're going to take this one and put it over the circle, line it up, center it, and cut it again. 
and then you will end up with this frame. So that's really, really cool. Um, cause this does not cut a, a centerpiece. This just scores. So if you didn't cut the hole first, you wouldn't have a frame. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so we've got our frame piece here and I'm gonna set that aside. Doo, doo, doo. And then I've got my four and a quarter by 11 inch piece here and now I need to cut a hole in it, right? So that we have a window. So we've already cut this hole out and we've cut out the foliage. So in order to make my little frame piece, I'm going to start with this piece of designer series paper because I also want this to have a hole in it. So we're gonna line it up on the front of the card, what will be the front of the card. Adhere it down. I'm gonna grab my Big Shot. Ooh, okay. I have it open, you notice. The card stock is open because I don't wanna cut the back. So I've got it open and I'm just going to line this circle up. Now remember this is the exact same circle that I used to cut my frame so that my hole will be the same size. And I'm going to run this through the big shot as I twist and turn and bump the camera and everything else. I don't have a lot of space. so. Um, I'm working in kind of a tiny space. So now I've got my hole for the front. You could save this piece and do something else with it. Okay, so I've got my hole cut out and now all I have to do is take my frame and some glue. I love this glue, Tombow Mono Glue. And Stampin' Up! does sell this glue too, by the way. So I'm not even going to put glue all over my leaves. I actually kind of want them to kind of poke up and stick up. And I want some of the leaves to come out the top and some to come out the bottom. So I'm kind of putting this circle cattywampus. That's a word. Just kidding, I don't really know if it's a word. I just know it's a word I use. And now I've got the front of my card. It's got a little hole, ha ha, peekaboo. Okay. So the, then you have this piece. Now you need to add this piece. So this shorter piece here, I don't know if you can see that it's shorter, this is the one we trimmed off in the beginning, needs to go inside the card so that the card will fo fold properly. So I've put it inside and I'm lining up the backs and now I basically can open you know what, I've got one piece here that's a little wider than the other, so I need to trim this down. That happens sometimes. It's like an eighth of an inch too wide. All right, so, so this piece, the shorter piece is going inside, so you can see it doesn't come to the top. That way it's not going to make it where this won't fold down nicely. So these are all lined up. I can stack them like this, close, close everything together, turn this over, open the back flap, and now I'm gonna put adhesive all over this piece. So let's show you this one more time, okay? We've got the card here, which by the way, you could totally just stamp your sentiment in here and be done. And you would just have a really cute one fold card. So, in order to make this work, you've got two pieces. You're going to take the side that's trimmed off by a quarter of an inch and it's going to go inside this piece. Okay, gonna shut it down, give it a little tap. We're going to turn all of them over upside down together. Open this one up and add the adhesive on this piece. Now don't jostle anything or move it because, where's my adhesive, there it is. Um, because you don't want this to get out of place now that you've placed it. And you're gonna cover the back of this with adhesive. Now I prefer using um, Whisper White Thick Cardstock 
because it's a very very sturdy strong card stock and it makes a nice thick heavy card so now you can see it opens like this beautiful now the stamping now if you're nervous about the stamping you could not put it together first and then stamp however my warning for that is <laughs> if you do that then you could end up with your sentiment being a little bit off kilter so it is really best to do it this way um ask me how i know all right so i'm going to grab my stamparatus or you could use the misty whatever stamp positioner you own oh i got glue on the back of here i tell you what people i am oh you know what why am i fighting this let me grab my adhesive remover do, 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 do. And it just takes it right off. Okay, so ooh, that's for next week's project. You almost saw what we're doing next week. No, I don't want you to see. Okay, so for whatever reason, I have to stamp with this, with this facing me, or I it's like I can't do it. I know I'm psychotic. Okay. All right, so there's that. Let me grab my stamp. And we're gonna do hello on this first part. And I'm using the Stamparatus. You see I've got it lined up here nicely. I'm lining this up here because if I screw this up, I need to be able to restamp in exactly the same spot again. So let's just hope I don't screw it up. And I'm going to use Blackberry Bliss. Now on the other card, I used um, Early Espresso. So that is the color that is listed on my blog in the description. And it is, oh, for Pete's sake. Ah! Okay. Where's my, there it is. Let me clean my stamp. I didn't have my stamp stuck down good onto my... Stamparatus. It could also be that it's 59 degrees in my house. It is so cold in my house. And so, um, like, my hands aren't really working right. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but it's the truth. Okay. Make sure this is clean. We're going to put this down here. <sighs> See? Everything's like... <sighs> okay. Let's try this again. Perfect. Okay. Then we have to stamp inside. And I still want it to be able to show through the window. I don't know why. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't need to show through the window. But I want it to be like in the same place. So all I've done is open up the inside flap, put it down, and I moved it over on accident. Okay, so we're going to do that, and I'm going to put it down there like that, and now we have sending love. And we're going to remove this one. It's really cold outside. <laughs> Cindy says, oh my God, I'm laughing my butt off. This stuff happens to me so much. Yeah, it's totally normal. Hey, sister Katie. Katie did. She's watching us. Good morning. Marianne. Um, no, my AC is not malfunctioning. It's just, it's cold for California right now. <laughs> it's chilly outside and we didn't run the heater or anything. So I actually need to go pop the heater on to get the chill off in the house is what needs to happen. But I haven't done it yet. Okay, so now we're going to um, stamp Sending Love. Look how beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so here's our card. Ready? Hello. Sending Love. People, it doesn't get any cuter. I mean, stop it. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. And there it is. We're all done. Our card is finished. How easy is that? But it's really 
like kind of a wow card, even though it's super, super, super simple. Ew, I have, I'm getting ink everywhere. Okay. Yuck. All right. So there's that adorableness. So people are saying, what is chilly? So for California, right now, it was like 55 degrees this morning. When I woke up. I'm almost embarrassed to say it because I know, I know people's response. I know people are like, oh my Lord, are you kidding me? 55. But for us, that's cold. That's chilly. That's like brisk and chilly. It just is, people. Don't judge me. Okay, so... um. Now we have giveaways. Shall we do giveaways? Everybody loves a giveaway. Who doesn't want to do a giveaway? Only a crazy person, I say. 80 degrees here in West Virginia. Yeah, but it's 2. So it's 10.53 here. Um, And when I woke up this morning, it was in the 50s. And now it's like 60-something, I think. I don't know. I haven't looked in, a, in about a half hour. 93 in Georgia. God, I would give anything. Ugh. It'll it'll get into the 80s here today, probably. Low 70s, mid 80s. Bye, Patricia. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, yeah. So Deborah said she, it was 49 in Sutter Creek. So that's about a 15, 20 minute drive from my house. So yeah, it was, it was chilly this morning. For Californians, that's cold. Okay, so let's do a giveaway. Um, we've got a few. I have three. Three, three, three. I have the new Festive Farmhouse Elements. These are really cute. They're little wood elements that you can add to your cards or your scrapbook pages or you could make a little decoration with them. They'd probably be cute on an ornament. I've got the Best Root Memories and More card pack. This is a really great card pack. And Tea Room Cardstock. This was actually a um, miss order uh, from Deborah. She ordered something. I put in the wrong item number and I got her this instead of the right one. So now I'm going to just do it as a giveaway. Okay. So. Ooh, Fran said she'll take 50s over the 80s. <laughs> Not me. I love the warm weather. Love it, love it, love it. When it starts getting like this, it's, I don't like it at all. I don't like chilly weather. I don't, like right now my hands are really cold and it's like they don't work right and I just, ugh, ugh, I like heat. Okay, let's do these giveaways. Are we ready? Oh, I need my post-it notes, don't I? I gotta have my post-it notes. So I can see who wins. Okay, first winner is, hey, it's Patricia. Patricia Settle. Congrats, Patricia. She wins the Festive Farmhouse Elements. Okay, next winner. Cindy Castor. Yay, Cindy. And our last one, oops, I went the wrong way, sorry. Marianne McGinnis. I feel like Marianne wins a lot. Congrats, Marianne. Congrats, Cindy. And congrats, Patricia. I know for sure I have uh, Marianne and Cindy's address, but I don't know if I have Patricia's address. So Patricia, I know you said you had to leave. If you check this again, please make sure you send me your address in case I don't have it. Okay. What else we got here? Love warm weather to sweater weather. Ugh. Congratulations, Patricia. <laughs> yeah, I'm a summer girl all the way. There's no, there's no bones about it. I love late spring, summer, and early fall. Like right now is okay because it's still getting warm during the day. 
but when it starts not heating up during the day, mm -mm, I don't like it. Okay. Well, thanks so much, you guys, for tuning in. I hope you had an awesome time. I hope you enjoyed this card, and I hope you try one. If you try one, please post it and let me know or send me a photo of it. Let me know how it went for you, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.